And it was as good as his word. He wrote two letters a week instead of one. In 1959, the state senate finally clued into the fact they couldn't buy him off with just a $200 check. Appropriations Committee voted an annual payment of $500 just to shut him up. And you'd be amazed how far Andy could stretch it. He made deals with book clubs, charity groups. He bought remainder books by the pound. Treasure Island, Robert Lewis Stevenson. Fiction, adventure. What's next? I got here uh, auto repair and soap carving. Trade skills and hobbies. Goes under educational. Stack manager. Count Monte Crisco. That's Crisco, you dumb shit. By Alexandre Dumbass. Dumbass. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> You know what that's about? Nothing. You'll like it. It's about a prison break. We'll be able to find that on the educational, too. Pardon me? The rest of us did our best to pitch in when and where we could. By the year Kennedy was shot, Andy had transformed a storage room smelling of rat turds and turpentine into the best prison library in New England, complete with a fine selection of Hank Williams. 